Hey guys, I'm back now with my swap from Nat. We do a monthly swap. The first three months are going to be for jewelry. We're a little behind and this is the second month. So I have to push out number three, like within the next day or two. So I can send that off to her for March. So I just received this last week. So let me go ahead and dive in. We are to do um, a necklace already made, the kit for us to make our own, a snack, a three by three card and a crafty goodie purchase. Okay, so let's dive in. So let's first, these are my snacks and I love Junior Mints, yum. So I got a box of those. I also got an Almond Joy and yes, it is empty. <laughs> yes, I ate it. I Skyped with her online and yeah, I ate it. So I don't feel guilty, but I told her I'd show the package. So, <laughs> so those are my sweet treats. Here's my crafty purchase. Um, and this, I am a huge fan of fun mugs. You know, fun things that have like images like this or that stick out and have a big unicorn head, whichever it is. And I love this mug. So I'm adding it to my collection. I'm so excited. So here is this mug. So there's my crafty purchase. Here is my three by three card doodle bug adorbs and we are to make them dimensional so however it is it's dimensional we live a, leave a little sentiment inside and it's for us to collect through the years so we can hang them up i will be this is card number two so i have a spot on my wall over there for um, susan's cards that i've collected for years and then also two now nats so when i get these put up i'm going to go ahead and do a quick review of my craft room the way it looks um right now so this is probably about the best it's going to get. So, <laughs> and I will show how my craft room looks, but here is her three by three card. She put it all in this super cute bag that she used. Let's get all that off. Her Cricut Joy on, and she made this super cute little bunny face and a little sequin bow that we were all inspired by Mimi's video showing how to make these. She added these cute little felt ears, little bag, little bunny tail this is absolutely adorable so this is the piece of jewelry that she made for me okay of these beautiful natural stones we both love natural stones love them even though these have been dyed but they're they're like a glass bead and this right here you can see is a natural stone these two right here and the white ones but we both love this style. So this is beautiful, it's a Y necklace. And this right here is a 19 inch necklace. And normally I like, normally I wear 16 inch because I like it to sit a little higher, but for necklaces like this, this is the perfect length. And the reason why it's 19 instead of 18 is because you gotta consider this portion because it adds length to your necklace, okay? So we are going to go ahead and leave this right here for you to look at. We are going to go ahead and make the actual one together. So I figured, why not? Nat came up, she's like, you know what? Maybe I'll do that with your kit. And I go, that's a freaking great idea. That's amazing. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here is the chain, okay? And here are the beads that she gave me, which are, these are actual natural stones. They're absolutely gorgeous. I went ahead and already did those because I wasn't going to take too long. And I'm going to save the last couple to do with you guys here on the video. And again, she provided all this stuff. So I will not know the gauges. I will not know the size of the jump rings she used. The only thing I can assume is that these are six millimeters because these look like the ones I use. But other than that, I, I cannot answer those questions. So let's go ahead and put these on. These look like maybe five millimeter beads. So here we go. And then on these right here, okay, you will see they look like this on both ends. She provided head pins and not eye pins to make these. So this is how you go ahead and work those out. So the top part, you slide your bead on first, first of all, and then you go ahead and get your round needle nose pliers and you stick it to wherever you want. Keep in mind the barrel is always skinny in the front and then the barrel gets bigger in the end. So you gotta keep in mind that's how big your loop will be. So if you're gonna start in a certain spot, then every time you're gonna wanna do it in that same spot so that your barrel stays the same size, the hole, okay? 
Okay, so you have here is the first side. Then you let the bead fall to the other end. You take your flush cutters, okay, and you can get these anywhere. Um, I get mine from Hobby Lobby, and then you just cut off that top part right there. Okay, so I'm gonna cover that. And then we're gonna take our round needle nose again. We're gonna put it pretty much back where we think I did it the last time. And then when I turn, I turn with my right hand. Keep in mind, I'm right-handed. And then um, my left hand is where I'm resting the pin against. So when I'm turning, I'm pushing against my thumb and turning with my right hand. I let go, I don't take it out, and I turn again until it reaches the wire. I keep it in there, again, I don't take it out, and then I go all the way to the back, and then at that point, I turn towards me, okay? So that it looks like this, which is a perfect circle, okay? Then I go in here really quick just to make sure that these two are snug together so that they do not fall off the chain when we put them on or when we connect them. Okay, so let's do that one more time. I'm gonna slide our bead through. Okay, and then we're gonna use about where I placed it before, right hand, since I'm right-handed, is gonna do all the work. Okay, until that part reaches the bottom part of the wire. We're not taking the tool out, and we're gonna close it, and we're gonna turn it towards us so that the circle is straight. Okay, you see that? All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and close this side to make sure that they are touching and there's no gaps. All right, and then we're gonna let the bead fall. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our flesh cutters and we're gonna cut off just the top part. Okay, then we're gonna get these again. And then we are going to turn. Right hand turning everything because I'm right-handed. Then we're going to move our thumb. Then we're going to get this and we're going to close it towards us, towards me, <laughs> towards all of us. Straighten that out. Make sure that it is snug together. And then we have them like this. Okay. So then all of these are done and there's 10 of these. All right. Now these are the charms she gave me. I don't know if that's a taco or an empanada. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and use these two. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the dangle to hang with it. Now, this dangle right here, she provided everything, B caps and all. So this right here, we're not going to, um, this one, we need to keep it on the head pin. Head pin meaning flat. Eye pin is the one that has the circle. Okay. So we're going to leave those on there. We're going to cut off a portion of this because that'll be too long. I always measure, okay my finger width and I've been doing this for so long I'm pretty good about guesstimating okay so this is how I tend to do it and then I cut that part off so I'm left with a smaller portion here we go this hand we're going to do the same thing my left thumb everything is pushing against it so that my right hand can turn okay then we're going to turn it again get this turn it back and then there is that part and we're going to close this off with your actual needle nose and then there is your circle all right so that part is done all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take one of her jump rings that she already provided I always you're supposed to use two but I feel like it takes forever to do it so I just use my thumb my thumb is my plier on my left side so we're going to take this and we're going to start working on the actual charm part down here just so that I can get it put together okay so we're gonna hang this on and it looks like she only has it hung so that you see right here this is how she has it and it's hung on this one right here we're gonna close that off now we're gonna get another jump ring for the other charms I'm trying to look for where the opening is we're gonna open that a little bit Okay, and it looks like she has every one of these hung on individually. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that one off. Then we're going to grab another one for the heart. Open that up. And again, guys, I am, um, let's see how she has this on here. 
All right, so they're hanging off of the actual moon. All right, so we're gonna, the moon had a big enough loop on its charm, so we're gonna hang it from there. This part's gonna be hard to use my thumb. So we're gonna use my round nose, which is not advised. Use a, another pair, two pairs of these for this stuff because this is round, it might slip off there, but I'm being lazy. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna do all the extra. All right, so we're gonna get this one. We're gonna open it back up and we're gonna hang it from the actual moon charm because she doesn't have it hanging from the jump ring. So we're gonna do it the way she has it. And then we're gonna turn it right here. All right, and then she has this hanging off of one of these right here, which we already did. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna hang it from the actual jump ring that's holding everything. Okay. And then make sure that this is closed tightly so it does not have any reason to come undone. Okay, so there's the bottom portion. Then we're gonna get another one of these smaller jump rings that I believe are six millimeter. The six millimeter is my favorite size. I tend to use that for almost everything when I am creating jewelry. And then she looks like she has this this way. All right. And then she did it again with another one of these. Okay. So we're gonna hook it on here. This is where we're at so far. And she has this off of the large one, which she provided this. So you'll see the difference in size. So we're gonna hook it onto that. It's so much fun guys to do this and just work off of what we provide each other. I absolutely love it. Oh, I did not do this part. We'll do this part last, which is the chain pieces that she has because she did provide extra chain for that. Now we're gonna start working our way up these pieces right here, okay? So right now, this is where we're at, okay? Same bottom part, let's move this over here, there. All right, okay. Now we're gonna work on one of these sides right here and create the four. So here are all of these and let's get all of these jump rings over here so I can grab those a little easier. Actually, no, wait. All right, so she does two jump rings right here but then all of these are just connected to each other. All right, so let's do that. We're gonna connect this to this. And we're gonna use these and close that off. And then we are gonna do create the V portion. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to look at the camera as I'm doing this to make sure I'm in frame. And now we're gonna do the other one right here because there was two of them. So this is what's gonna create the Y portion of this necklace. So you'll see right here, these are gonna go two different directions, okay? And then she has it to where she's connecting, instead of using a jump ring, she's having bead to bead. So we're just gonna grab these, hook it in, and then we're gonna close this off. And then we're gonna grab the next one, and she has four of them on each side. So that's two. We're gonna hook it on. And we're gonna close this off. Oops. And then we're gonna make sure this is closed. One more. Did I miscalculate? Hold on a second. One. Okay, I forgot I did that one. I was like, oh my gosh, there's one missing. Okay, so let's open up this one. And we are gonna close this, oopsie. And then we're gonna close this one off. I've been getting a lot of requests for jewelry, guys, so don't worry. I promise I have some things coming up. I've just uh, been on a mission doing other things and you know when you do jewelry and you, like for me I do a ton of different crafts and not just jewelry you have to kind of like be in the mood like you have to be in the crocheting mood the jewelry mood the paper crafting mood you know 
And in order for things to flow nice, when you're forcing it, it's like things don't come out right. So I've been getting into the jewelry vibe. So I do have some things that I'll be making. A couple will be something new and then some will just be a re... Sorry guys, I had to merge this one. My work alarm just went off right now. So I'm going to combine this and hopefully you won't even notice that it stopped. Well, you will. <laughs> so let's go ahead and finish this. Um, and I forgot what I was even saying. So aside from the fact you need to be in the mood. So there's going to be a couple of things that I'm going to work on that I haven't done before. And then there'll be some revamps. So it'll pretty much kind of like be like a let's make this piece of jewelry together type of video. You know, because I know a lot of girls like to just watch. I mean, even though they'll know because I'm the same way. I love to just watch. Okay, so this is where we're at. Let's move those over. So here is this and here is this. Now we're going to go ahead and it looks like she added a jump ring, a jump ring, and then the chain. So we're going to grab these two jump rings. Let me go clock in. So hold on just a hot second. Okay, clocked in. <laughs> Let me finish this real quick because I have to go back to work. So it's my week to work remote and it's going to come to an end soon, guys. I'm so sad. All right, and then we're gonna actually add the jump ring to the actual chain. And this chain is from Hobby Lobby because this is the chain that I use and it's Metal Gallery and it's on the spool. It's one of my favorite ones, I always use it. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and connect the other end to this side. Let's get the jump ring here and then we're gonna add it to this end, and we're gonna add it to the chain directly. And we're gonna close it off. All right, now here is this necklace. Now, this one right here, she just gave extra chain just to make sure it all went good. So I'm gonna cut off some of the chain because that would make it way too long. But let's go ahead and make the little tassel part that she did right here. Now with this right here, the fun part about it, actually, you know what? Let's use the leftover from here instead of cutting into that one. So you will see right here that this one is longer than this one. I want it to be this length. So I'm gonna copy how she did it. So I've already tried it on and I like how it sits. So I'm gonna match it next to this one from this little jump ring to this one, and then I'm gonna only match it to the, where the end of the chain, not to where you see the lobster claw. This is where you take your flush cutters, and we're just gonna pretty much eyeball it. Oops. And then we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna eyeball this one. And then here is this extra chain piece. So we're gonna use that to make the tassel. So let's actually go ahead and add this on right now. All right, so here is gonna be the part of the closure, okay? So we're gonna add this on here. And this is what the lobster claw is gonna hold on to. And then another jump ring. And then we're gonna add this one and we're gonna attach the lobster claw. She used a larger lobster claw. And um, here we go this one and we're gonna go ahead and close this off okay and then oh no you know what I just did I did just notice right now oh it's too late we're gonna have to keep it the same way I accidentally did not add the bead caps and I know you guys are probably like um you're missing a step I totally missed it dang it I'm not redoing it and it's okay. I don't mind it showing the simplicity of it this way. I'm so bummed right now. Like so bummed <laughs> that I did not put those on there. Uh, but we're okay. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna live. This one right here isn't closed all the way. Okay. I'm so bummed. What a bonehead I am. All right, let's go ahead and make the chain tassel. 
This right here, all I do, I just cut random pieces. I don't look at the sizes because I want them to look uneven and I'm okay with that. Okay, so we have these four pieces. We're gonna take a jump ring. I feel jittery, guys. I didn't even, I didn't have breakfast. I just had coffee and the coffee has just got me extra crazy right now. Oh, geez Louise. Because I'm doing that intermittent type of fasting. So my stomach is like, all right, this is all you're going to give me. <laughs> and after this, I'm going to grab something to eat. Because normally when I work from home, I don't eat till like around noonish, and it's already past that time. So you see how they're all um, different lengths? That's what I want. All right. Then we're going to add this. And I'm not gonna add it to the actual um, moon that everything is on. I'm gonna add it to the jump ring. Okay. So here's how we have it. Actually, I should have probably put it in the... Yeah, you know what, let me fix that. It's in the back and I want it to be in the front. Okay. I hope this video isn't long because I don't want to do it long to where you guys are like, oh my gosh, you're killing me. So the chain just fell off, so I'm going to add it back on. Can we? There we go. Now we're going to add it to the front because there's always like a front side of things. So here would be the front. We're going to add it. Oops. Here being the front. And I'm going to add it on the actual jump ring, not the actual charm. Okay, so this is how mine looks. Okay. So she did provide extras, like I said, I have bead caps right here. I have extra chain, a few extra jump rings my little empanada that's right there, and an extra here. I'm going to actually, um, I didn't, I ran out of the head pins. And I'm going to add that to the end right here. I like to add charms where my closures are. So, and then I'll add it as a dangle there. And then I'll add a bead cap to it with the charm. And then I'll use this one of these jump rings. I just need to go get an eye pin, an eye pin, a head pin. <laughs> so here is Nat's beautiful necklace that she made for me. Here's the one that I just created with what she provided. And of course, I made the mistake. I might get annoyed with this and I might just go ahead and add the bead caps. I don't know yet, but I'll have to go get my own set of head pins, which really bums me out that I did not do that. And it was right in front of my face. But anyways, this is how it works. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And maybe I'll just, we have one more, a bracelet. I might go ahead and pop on here and actually make it with you and then send it to her so you can see it. And then when she sends me hers, I'll do it on, on um, camera for you guys as well. So have an amazing and blessed Monday, and I will see you guys later.